going through the fitment of the standard washer jet for a Defender TD5. This is a 2005 TD5 that I'm be attaching it to. Um, it's the same method as what you'd use to fit a third party uh, device to as well. There are some videos out there which are basically uh, telling you to drill out the spot weld um, of the bracket that's underneath the um, dash um, but there is a far simpler and quicker and probably more effective method which I will show you today. Okay, swap to the other camera so it looks a bit different. Try and keep out the shadow. Now in some uh, videos I've seen people are recommending uh, drilling out that spot weld, pulling these tab backs to get to the back of the washer jet uh, which is set just there. Um, seems a bit silly to be doing that and self destruct well, a bit destructive. So what there is actually, um, up, no, it's that way. there is actually a plastic panel fitted here behind the stereo, which is four small screws to remove. And then, once you've removed that, if I put a torch in there, you are directly onto um, the nut which holds on the washer jet. So removing that is going to be far easier than trying to come above it um and drilling out and pulling those tabs back so well i'm saying that now let's uh, do the job and uh, i'll come back to you okay so long 13 it's more ratchet perfect easy enough came off very very simply so no stress so let's just go to the uh, front of the vehicle and then hopefully, no surprises, nope, there we go, off. So, that's the old one, what have I done with the new one? There's the old one. Doesn't look too bad, but the uh, driver side is blocked, no end, and then this is the new one. So it should be. It is exactly the same, but just looks newer. Lovely. Right, let's just pop that fellow back in there. Oh. Right, I'll come back to you. Two seconds. I'm back. I was just checking because I couldn't do it with two hands. Is take that screw off and uh, nut off, and to make sure that it's got a rubber washer on there, which it has. So. Back in the hole it pops, and uh, I'm not going to be able to show you the next bit because I've got to wiggle the screw on, the uh, the uh, the nut on, uh, but I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so what I've done here is just put a bit of a rubber glove in the 13mm socket just to hold that nut flush, so I can push it onto the... Uh, I'm just going to make a hole in that as well, actually, before I go. But just so I can push that onto the new uh, washer jet um, and start the thread going, uh, because it's very hard uh, to get the screw on by your fingers, because it's a narrow space. Okay, it's now tight. It doesn't have to be too tight, it's on. As you know, it's on thin threads, so we look in there. That look to be about square, I think. Have a look from the front of the vehicle. I think that, uh, sorry, my light's in the way. That looks okay, that looks square enough. Okay, so we can put the hose back on and then reassemble. Okay, one last test. As you can see, these are more than powerful enough to do the job. So you could save yourself £250 and just get an original. So, okay, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.